graph a y equals negative 1 and 5 tenths and b x equals 1. Part a. For every value of x, the value of y is negative 1 and 5 tenths. For instance, when x is negative 4, y is negative 1 and 5 tenths. When x is negative 2, y is negative 1 and 5 tenths. And when x is 3, y is negative 1 and 5 tenths. So the graph of y equals negative 1 and 5 tenths is a horizontal line 1 and 5 tenths units below the x-axis. Part b. For every value of y, the value of x is 1. For instance, when x equals 1, y equals 3, 0, and negative 5. So the graph of x equals 1 is a vertical line 1 unit to the right of the y-axis. Use intercepts to graph the equation x plus 2y equals 6. To find the x-intercept, substitute 0 for y and solve for x. Substituting 0 for y, you get x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. Simplifying the left side of the equation, you get x equals 6. To find the y-intercept, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. Substituting 0 for x, you get 0 plus 2y equals 6. Simplifying the left side of the equation, you get 2y equals 6. To solve this for y, you want to divide each side of the equation by 2, which leaves you with y equals 3. Now you want to plot the points and draw the line. The x-intercept is 6, so plot the point 6, 0. The y-intercept is 3, so plot the point 0, 3. Now draw a line through the points. You are going to the fair and have $16 to spend on rides and games. Ride tickets cost $4 and game tickets cost $2. The equation 4x plus 2y equals 16 models this situation, where x is the number of ride tickets and y is the number of game tickets. Part A. Graph the equation. Interpret the intercepts. To find the x-intercept, substitute 0 for y and solve for x. Substituting 0 for y gives 4x plus 2 times 0 equals 16, which simplifies to x equals 4. To find the y-intercept, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. Substituting 0 for x gives 4 times 0 plus 2y equals 16, which simplifies to y equals 8. Now you want to plot the points. The x-intercept is 4, so plot the point 4, 0. The y-intercept is 8, so plot the point 0, 8. Now draw a line segment connecting the points. Although x and y represent whole numbers, it is convenient to draw a line segment that includes points whose coordinates are not whole numbers. Because x is 4, the x-intercept shows that you can purchase 4 ride tickets when you do not purchase any game tickets. Because the y-intercept is 8, the y-intercept shows that you can purchase 8 game tickets when you do not purchase any ride tickets. Part B. Find four possible solutions in the context of the problem. Because you cannot purchase part of a ticket, only whole number values of x and y make sense in the context of the problem. Because the y-intercept is 0, 8, one possible solution is that you can buy zero ride tickets and eight game tickets. Notice that 2, 4 is a point on the line segment, so you can purchase two ride tickets and four game tickets. Notice that 3, 2 is another point on the line segment so you can purchase three ride tickets and two game tickets. Because the x-intercept is 4-0, you can purchase four ride tickets and zero game tickets.